Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White What's Wrong with Procrastination? March 24th Go away for now. When I have a convenient time, I will call for you. Acts chapter 24 verse 25 Beware of procrastination. Do not put off the work of forsaking your sin and seeking purity of heart through Jesus. Here is where thousands upon thousands have erred to their eternal loss. I will not here dwell upon the shortness and uncertainty of life, but there is a terrible danger, a danger not sufficiently understood, in delaying to, uh, to yield to the pleading voice of God's Holy Spirit in choosing to live in sin, for such this delay really is. Sin, however small it may be esteemed, can be indulged in only at the peril of, of infinite loss. What we, do not, uh, what we do not overcome will overcome us and work to our destruction. Adam and Eve pers persuaded themselves that in such a small matter as eating the forbidden fruit, there could not result such a terrible consequence as God had declared. But this small matter was the transgression was the transgression of God's immutable and holy law, and it separated mankind from God and opened the floodgates of death and untold woe upon the world. Age after age there has gone up from our earth a continual cry of mourning, and the whole creation groaneth and travaileth together in pain as a consequence of our first parents' disobedience. Heaven itself has felt the effects of human rebellion against God. Calvary stands as a memorial of the amazing sacrifice required to atone for the transgression of the divine law. Let us not regard sin as a trivial thing. Every act of transgression, every neglect or reject of rejection of the grace of Christ is reacting upon yourself. It is hardening the heart, depriving the will, benumbing the understanding, and not only making you less inclined to yield, but less capable of yielding to the tender pleading of God's Holy Spirit. Even one wrong trait of character, one sinful desire persistently cherished, will eventually neutralize all the power of the gospel. Every sinful indulgence strengthens the soul aversion to God. Those who manifest an infidel hardihood or a stolid indifference to divine truth are but reaping the harvest that they, that the harvest of which they themselves have sown. In all the Bible there is not one sorry, in all the Bible there is not a more fearful warning against trifling with evil than the words of the wise man that a sinner shall be holden with the cords of his own sin. Proverbs chapter five verse twenty two. Homeward bound.